WKXW Trenton, WKXW HD, a Town Square media station. From the P.J. Fitzpatrick Home Improvement News Desk, New Jersey's most listened to station, New Jersey 101.5 News starts now. It's 12 o'clock. I'm Rick Rickman. Topping our report this hour, more than 100 school districts in New Jersey that are facing a massive loss of state aid may be thrown a lifeline by the legislature. A plan is advancing in the assembly that would allow the districts to apply for money from a property tax relief fund. More than $71 million would be available, allowing some districts to get back about two-thirds of the money that they have lost under the new funding formula. They would be required to show they raised as much money on the local level as possible, mostly through property tax hikes, and that they have not laid off any staff. For the first time in more than a year, civil and divorce cases are proceeding in all of New Jersey's 21 counties. An historic judge shortage forced moratoriums in seven counties last year. Tim McGoffrin, president of the NJ State Bar Association, says people need to be able to get in front of a judge. It's important to have confidence in your court system. So if you're not able to, to get a decision made or even get in front of a judge, people are not going to have confidence in the court system, and that pulls at the threads of our society. While judge vacancies are being filled, massive backlogs remain. More than 81,000 trial cases are backlogged. That's double the number of backlogged cases in 2019. Court officials say it could take three years to return to pre-pandemic levels. New Jersey news made possible by college hunks hauling junk and moving. Do you have old furniture laying around the house or a garage full of clutter? College hunks hauling junk and moving. Haul the stuff you don't want and move the stuff you do. Let tomorrow's leaders haul your junk today. Visit collegehunks.com. Tragedy in Middlesex County, where a woman was shot and killed by her longtime spouse. Authorities say it appears to be an accidental shooting that claimed the life of 76-year-old Patricia Novak. Edison police got a 911 call on Friday from Robert Novak. The 82-year-old said he was clearing one of his guns when it discharged and fired into the basement where his wife was. Social media accounts show the Novaks had been married for over 50 years. They're in vote, New Jersey, 101.5 News. Gambling slowed last year at casinos and... And online, according to new data from state gaming officials, all nine Atlantic City casinos and two Internet-only entities saw a collective gross operating profit of $780 million in 2023. That's down 4.1% from the year before. Borgata had the largest operating profit, while Bally's AC saw the biggest improvement. NJ1015.com is your source for breaking news. Download our free app to get breaking news alerts sent to your phone. And will this beautiful sunshine stay around all week? Chief Meteorologist Dan Zero's complete forecast is coming up. New Jersey Fast Traffic in one minute. Your direct line to the studio, all in one app. Download now and use our New Jersey 101.5 in-app chat to connect with our hosts. Stay engaged, stay connected. Join the conversation. Perfect. Traffic is busy in Annandale on 22 westbound approaching 78. Police have the right lane blocked because of a down traffic signal. That's from an accident from earlier this morning. Also in the turnpike, southbound car lanes, right lane construction work from Interchange 10 down through 9. Truck lanes look real good, southbound as well as northbound. Garden State Parkway northbound after the Asbury Tolls. Right lane construction work in the local lanes. And also in Stafford Township, you've got the usual uh, construction work on 72 eastbound between Marsha Drive and Long Beach Boulevard. No major problems at the Lincoln and Holland Tunnel. Still about 15 minutes, though, at the George Washington Bridge. Traffic every 15 minutes. Next report at 1218. I'm Chris Majette on New Jersey 101.5. Traffic is brought to you by Investor Schooling. Do you know when the best time to buy investment properties is? Right now. Sign up for a complimentary class this Thursday night and learn how to buy investment properties and make money every time. Register now at InvestorSchooling.com. That's InvestorSchooling.com. New Jersey 101.5 instant weather. We're still a bit concerned about coastal flooding. Through tonight, along the Jersey Shore and the Delaware River, coastal flood warnings and advisories continue there. Minor to spotty, moderate category flooding expected at high tide. This is not storm-based. It's because of the astronomical tide cycle and the new moon. Meanwhile, our weather is magnificent today. Warm and dry, partly to mostly cloudy. High 70 to 75, although cooler right at the beaches. Staying mostly cloudy tonight will add a chance of a shower after midnight. Lows around 50. Passing showers tomorrow morning, then just clouds through the afternoon. Generally still on the mild side, we'll see 50s in North Jersey tomorrow, 60s for most of the state, maybe some 70s to the south. 
Thursday looks unsettled. Lots of clouds. Best chance of rain will be Thursday night with highs in the mid-60s. From the Maloof Auto Group Weather Desk, I'm Chief Meteorologist Dan Zaro. Weather made possible by W. Danley Electrical. Prepared for a power outage with a Generac automatic standby generator from W. Danley. You'll always have power. Free extended warranty, HVAC, and gen maintenance with a qualifying home standby generator purchase and 0% financing available. Visit Danley911.com. Right now, Newark is 69, Edison is 70, Mount Holly 71, fast traffic, instant weather every 15 minutes on New Jersey 101.5.